We're going to use Photoshop Elements to create this out of bounds photo effect right here. Back to our original image. Now the first thing we need to do is to separate the skater here, the foreground subject, from the background and put that on its own layer. And that's real easy to do. I'll start off here with a lasso tool and then just make a simple lasso right around your figure. Don't go into the figure, just stay kind of close to the edge and work your way around. Luckily there's a lot of great separation here between the foreground and background already. It's good contrast and so forth. This is fairly easy on this one. It could be difficult depending upon your picture, but this one's pretty straightforward. That tends to be the case whenever you're working with an image which is up against the sky. They work out pretty well most of the time and images against the sky tend to work out well for this particular technique. Okay, let's we'll go clear around like this. Now once this is done, we're going to be using the Refine Edge tool and a couple of tricks to clean this up for us. And see so up around the hat here, there we go. And around this side over here, back to the beginning, cross over your line, there we go. Okay, so now I come down to Refine Edge. I have my featherings here set at one pixel and that's fine. Here's our Refine Edge. I'm using a red mat in behind here that's under View and that's the overlay. It's just really easy to see this way. And then come in and paint right along that edge. This is a 35 pixel brush right now, which works out good for this picture. Different size pictures may need to have the brush size adjusted. You can do that down at the bottom down there in the Tools Options panel. And do this in just little strokes like this. Just work your way around and take your time on this. No real rush at this point. And then go clear around. We'll take care of those inside spots as a second pass on this. Let's just get this all taken care of in here. There we go. Work back up into the hand a little bit. There we go. And around this leg down here. Again, I'm just doing the outside first and we'll get the inside sections as a second pass. It just makes it easier to keep control of the whole project here. And quickly finishing up on this first pass on this. Just get that wheel section back in there. A lot of this is going to be going back on top of itself, so that's going to be very easy. We're only really taking out the head and shoulders outside of the picture. But I'm doing the whole thing anyway just to be consistent on that. Okay, let's now change our tool. I'm going to output this to Selection. Choose OK. There's your selection. Let's now change the tool over here. I'm going to grab the Magic Wand or something else. You might want to use the Quick Selection tool here. Check your brush size. That's pretty good. It's a 16 size. And you want to come in here and do Subtract. And then paint into the areas you want to subtract like this. That should take those out. That looks good. And this little section right up in here and right there. There we go. And those are now taken out of our selection. One more spot right in there. Okay, come back to Refine Edge. Double check. That looks good. And then change the output to New Layer with Layer Mask and choose OK. And there's our new layer with the Layer Mask. Now you make it a little bit of fuzziness. I can see some right up in here. Easy way to check for that is come down to your background layer. Put a new layer right here. Let's fill this with white. Change the foreground background to white. Paint bucket and fill that. You can then see where there's any problems. I can see some problems right up in here, a little bit right up in here, and a bit right down here. Anything over here doesn't matter because it's still on the original image. Actually, this is even okay here. So this area right up in here, we need to clean that up. And that's done on the layer mask itself. And for that, I like using this tool here. This is the burn tool. It's right down there. Have it set for mid-tones and an exposure of 50%. Adjust your brush size as you need. And then just come in and paint right over that edge. It's going to make that more contrasty, and that's going to tend to hide this little kind of smoky stuff. And this usually works out well. If it doesn't really work out completely, you can go back in here and carefully paint in on the layer mask using the black paint. And that's going to be hiding whatever you want to have hidden. But that looks pretty good. I think we're okay here. And this is inside of the original picture, so it doesn't really matter down there. Okay, let's hide that layer. And that looks good. Bring our background back up again. Let's now put a reference piece in here for our photo shape. And for that, I'll use this rectangular tool here. Make sure you're over here on the picture side of the layer. And then let's change our color here to black. There we go. And then with this, I'm going to come over here someplace, kind of close to the edge, and I'll pull just a rectangle out like that. Basically square. You can actually see the little pop-up window there, the dimensions. And if I go just a bit more, there we go. That's an actual square. That's fine. Let's now do some perspective work on this one. Go up here to Image, come down to Transform Shape and Perspective. And then grab the top 
right corner and pull it down it pulls in the top and the bottom corners there we go and that's our reference shape for this you can then take this layer and pull it underneath the skateboard layer there we go and then just kind of position that so that the skateboard is completely inside so i'll just grab this and move it down just a little bit like that and right about there is pretty good so all this section is totally inside of that picture frame and this area here is outside and that's what you want on that okay now that we have that reference piece hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail for that that makes a selection of that shape you can then hide that come down to the background layer down here that's still selected go up to layer and new layer via copy we've now made a copy of that if i hide the background layer there we go there is that piece copied out and we have him kind of popping out pretty good come back to our background layer let's put a new layer in now new layer right here i'll reset my colors to the black and white and then go up here to the gradient tool as a normal gradient and the left hand side here is the linear gradient and go to the top up here someplace just outside of the picture hold the shift key down pull straight down see what we get you can walk the other way around so let's go to the bottom and pull straight up and that looks good okay now let's do a little bit of a frame on this piece right in here and that's that layer right here for that go up to layer come down to layer style right here style settings and that's a stroke right there set this to inside click on this little color swatch and change this to white so we click out here and drag the upper left hand corner there we go that's white and then pull the size up they have a nice white border in there there we go now right down here the skateboard is kind of poking out of that white border so i'm going to make the border size just a little bit smaller on that click over here fx that brings us back up again and let's bring our size down just a little bit so that, that edge of the board is inside of that picture okay there we go that's looking fine let's put a little drop shadow on this just to help kind of separate that out and that's back over here to the fx double click and right up here drop shadow i'll put the opacity clear to the top and pull your distance out and you can see that drop shadow beginning to show in there there it is you can adjust where it's sitting by pulling your lighting angle around and i think that's a little bit nicer and you can soften it down by changing the size the larger the size the softer that shadow is and then pull the opacity back until it looks natural i think some are right in there looks good she's okay now he's in the wrong spot on the picture obviously so for that click on your top layer Hold the shift key down come down to this layer here with that image those are all now selected i can now just grab this and put this anywhere i want on the picture and i think right about in here looks pretty good okay last thing i want to do is to brighten this image up so for that click on your top layer up here go back up to layer come down to new adjustment layer and levels and right here it says use previous layer check that choose okay that locks this control into just that one image layer and then we'll start off by pulling these in now notice how the lines just kind of flat here then it goes up at that point and over here it goes up just a little bit in here you want to bring these in so they're right about at that point where it begins to come up and maybe just a little bit past that and that's going to increase the contrast in your picture naturally it moves the white point here to the beginning of your brights and it moves the black point in just a little ways into the beginning of your blacks you can adjust your overall mid-tones with this middle control and i think right about in there looks pretty good you can double check by clicking this little eye there's before and there's after i think that looks real nice if you want a bit more vibrant we can do that as well go up here to layer come down to new adjustment layer and hue saturation again check that checkbox choose okay this changes and then bring your saturation up a little bit right there that brings in just a little bit more color right in there and if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description.